This is Doug Brunk for Global Medical News Network. A doubling of the lower airways in children may be a significant marker for autism and autism spectrum disorders. Dr. Barbara Stewart made the discovery after bronchoscopic evaluation of several children. I'd go out and tell the parents, you have an overachiever. Don't know why they have more than one airway, but they do. Don't know what significance they have, but they just have them. And as I got to thinking about it, more and more kids that I saw had two instead of one. And as I made that relationship between airways, kept thinking about it, and um, did a retrospective study, the first one of its kind, um, put together a diagnosis of autism or autistic spectrum disorder with kids with doublets or two airways instead of one. This had to be an embryologic cause to make the doubling occurred. It had to have occurred embryologically when the infant was forming, i.e. before the lungs were developed, in fact. The clinical implications would be that um, the kids with autism now have an objective finding as opposed to a subjective finding in the airway. So two instead of one airways um, in their lungs can now be seen as opposed to guessed at. And, but the caveat is you wouldn't want everyone to have a bronchoscopy in order to make that diagnosis. So what you'd want is you'd want some other finding to be done. Um, i.e. genetics or things of that sort to um, further diagnose that in the future.